Hello, everybody. So I would be remiss if I didn't finish this little sequence I'm doing without props, um, without doing the lower body and side work. So legs, side strengthening, that's what we're going to focus on here, and hips, right? This whole area. <laughs> so come onto your mat on your right side or whichever side you prefer, really. I'm going to start on my right side. I um, tend to start on the dominant side. We want to start on our dominant side usually. So laying down on, the, on your side, line yourself up on your mat in a straight line, laying on your arm. I'm trying to get my whole body in here so you can see my feet, uh, most of my body. Okay, so we're in a straight line and our hips are stacked, our legs are together, arm, lower arm on the mat, bottom arm on the mat, excuse me, top arm on your legs. So you're going to keep your legs glued together, feet flexed, lengthen through your heels, and then you're going to just float the legs up as you reach for your feet with that top arm and help by pressing yourself up with your bottom arm, right? And hold. Good. And lower down. So I like to inhale as I lift. Hold. It's always good to hold your breath. Holding your breath has actually got a lot of benefits to it. Right? And then exhale down. It's very relaxing to do this, to hold your breath in between. So one more time, lengthen and lift, hold, take your arm up to the ceiling, reach for the ceiling, reach, reach and hold. And then arm goes over the head as you lower down. And then we're gonna continue lifting the legs, reaching that arm, reach for your feet, press up and exhale, lower down nice and gracefully. Nice and smooth, pressing up, reach for the feet. Good, lift, exhale down. Good. And then go ahead and bring your top hand in front of you. If you want, you can um, always come up on your elbow like that if you prefer, okay? So lay on your arm. So lengthen both legs up. Now the top leg, you're gonna reach to your heel and continue lifting it without leaning back. So make sure your hips are stacked, your toes are pointed forward, right? And just lengthen that leg up and down. If you can, keep your bottom leg floating off the mat, but you don't have to, you can rest it. So lengthen and lengthen. So it's all about lengthening. We wanna lengthen the ligaments, lengthen the muscles, lengthen the bones, everything's lengthening, it's anti-gravity, right? Good. And also it's harder work. <laughs> Last one. I should count, but I don't. Okay. And then when you come down, your legs meet, go ahead and relax both legs for a moment. And again, you can come up on your elbow like this, or you can even for the next one, come into this position for more challenge because we're going to do leg kicks. So this would be the hardest position, right? Take your top I'm going to go here. Take your top leg off your bottom leg a little bit, flex the foot, and you're going to kick forward and stretch back without moving the torso, right? So inhale, kick, and exhale, reach. Really get a nice big kick going, holding, stabilizing the torso, breathing deep. Inhale, kick, exhale, reach. And then we're going to take this into a bicycle movement. So next time you reach back, stay there, bend your knee to bring your heel towards your booty, pull that knee forward and stretch through your foot, your heel. Okay, so bend from the back, knee comes forward and reach to the heel. Good. Circle back, nice and big, bend the knee, pull it in, reach to the heel and circle back. Good, really getting the hip mobilized here, right? And then we're gonna reverse it. So you're reaching back, you're gonna take that foot forward, bend the knee, heel to butt and stretch back and flex forward, bring the knee in, heel to butt, stretch back one more and take it forward. Bend the knee in, 
Take the heel to your rear. Now stretch back and stay there. Touch your toe down with your leg internally rotated. Lift the leg, externally rotate to bring your heel in front. So we're gonna do a half moon and maybe yours is gonna be a quarter moon or a crescent moon, ooh, like that. That's okay. Just lift your leg however high it will lift today, right? And bring the heel in front and lift and the toes touching back. And then one more, lift, heel in front, lift, toes touching back. Now stay here, make sure you're lying on your arm and we're gonna do a spiral stretch. Those of you that know this, you know what I'm doing here. Reach your arm away from your leg and stretch. And then we're gonna take our arm over our head, bow it back and bring our leg forward. So you're lying on that shoulder, right, if you can. And then take your arm over your head, leg back. And we're pivoting on our hip and stretch. Yeah. Ah, and then coming back to side, take your bottom arm that you're laying on, cross it to the opposite shoulder. You can bend your knees here if you want, whatever your legs want to do. Bring your top hand on the ground, and then we're going to do a one-arm push-up. So this arm is out of the way, and you're just going to do this. Now this is very strengthening for the side of the torso, right? So, and the shoulder. So lower down, press up, lower down, press up. Yeah, so just breathe. Yeah. Last one. And you might not press up very high, that's okay, but just working those muscles. And then when you finish your last one, go ahead and lie on your arms, straighten your legs, cross your top foot in front of your bottom leg. If you can, put it flat on the ground with your knee up and press into that hip so you get a nice little stretch. And then lengthen and lift your bottom leg up as high as it'll go and just hold it up there and flex and point the foot. So you're not going to let that leg fall. You're going to try to hold it up there high as you can and move your foot. Circle the ankle. Yeah. And the other way. And keep breathing. Relax the leg down. Keep this leg here. We're going to come onto our back with our leg crossed over the thigh like that. Right? So. Just let this hip relax in this position and we're going to press our hips off the ground. So lift the hips up into a, a figure four bridge, you could say, right? And just breathe here. Yeah. Articulate the spine down. Arms out into a T and your foot that is in front in my left foot, you're going to take it all the way down to the floor. So you're in a little twist with your knee up. This is a nice stretch for the hip. Lift that leg and then sway the other direction till your knee comes down to the ground or wherever it goes without your shoulder coming up. It might not go all the way to the ground. Yeah, wherever it goes is fine. And lift up. Good. And then we're going to bring our hands through our around our thigh, pull that leg in as you gently press against your other knee right, to stretch your hip. And you can straighten and bend. There we go. Stretch the hip. Good. And bring that foot down, uncross. And we're going to come on to our other side. So I'm going to come this way so I can face you. Line on your arm in a straight line. Legs together. Now oh, that works pretty well. Okay. Arm on top, laying on your bottom arm. Flex the feet, lengthen through the heels. Float the legs up while you, as you reach for your feet with that top arm. And press yourself up. Right? Hold and down. 
So uh, you can breathe how you want, but I like to inhale up. So inhale, lengthen up and press, reaching for your feet, hold, exhale down. Keep the legs tight together. Inhale up, reach, take that top arm, reach for the ceiling, hold. And that arm goes over the head as you come down. Got a few more we're going to do with the sweep of the arm. So lengthen the legs up, reach for your feet. You can follow it with your gaze too if you want, or you can look down, whatever is most comfortable for your neck, right? So it always helps the neck to let your gaze be down toward the ground. Good. And lift up and feeling all of our side body activating here, <laughs> waking up. Right, lift up, reach for the feet, press up, good. And lift, hold, and lower down. And then bring your hand in front of you, lengthen the legs up again, and then the top leg continues, reaching through the heel, pointing the toes forward, keeping the hips stacked. So the reason I like to do leg lifts this way, keep it going, inhale, lengthen up, is because it's better for your low back. So the traditional way to do leg lifts is fine if you prefer that, you know, leaning back and kicking up and all that. But I prefer this because I feel like it's better for the lengthening of the muscles and the bones, is what we're really going for, right? And everything, the ligaments, the tent, everything's lengthening. Good, and it's hard work, <laughs> good sure how many we did on the other side but that feels about right so relax your legs down for a moment and again you can come up on your head this uh, on your arm this way you can come up all the way into the most challenging position maybe you want to let your bottom leg bent a little bit and I'm just going to demonstrate this I won't stay up so take your top leg off the bottom leg flex the foot kick forward and stretch back right so you can do this for a little bit more challenge up here. Inhale, kick, exhale, stretch. Kick, or here, inhale, kick, exhale, stretch. We're gonna take it into a bicycle. So kick and stretch back. Make sure you keep your knee behind your leg as you bend, then pull it up, then reach for the heel and circle back, All right? So you get maximum stretch. Really reach through each of those positions. Good. Pull it in, reach through the heel, and stretch back. And our torso is holding nice and still, right? Good. Now we're going to reverse it. So you're reaching back. You're going to flex forward, pull the knee in, heel to butt, and stretch back. Flex forward, knee in. Heel to butt and stretch back. Good, flex forward, last one. Knee and reach back, touch the toes down. Lift that leg, heel down in front, right? So again, you can lay on your arm too. So we're gonna lift, internally rotate, lift, externally rotate, lift, internally rotate, right? And you're breathing. So maybe you can do a big full half moon here, or maybe your moon is gonna be a little smaller. That's okay. Whatever you can manage today is perfect for today. <laughs> and the next time we reach back, we're gonna stay there. Touch the toe down, reach, make sure you're lying down, reach your arm away from your leg, stretch. And then take your arm over your head, follow it back as you bring your leg forward. So you're trying to lie down on your back here and you get a good stretch across the chest and then switch and stretch. Yeah, it's a nice stretch for the front of the chest and shoulder and stretch. All right. Coming back to your start position. So you can bend your knees if you want, especially after get some of that stress out. <laughs> Take your bottom arm your hand across your opposite shoulder and your top hand on the mat. So for the one arm push-up, 
just going to press up and lower down. Press up and lower down. Good. And breathe. Just pressing up as high as you're able. You might only come up a little bit. That's okay. Press up and lower down. Don't pull on your shoulder either. It's just a place to put your hand so that you get your arm out of the way. Right? That's the purpose. Good. Last one. Press up and lower down. And relax. We're going to take this, straighten your legs, take this top leg, put it in front, and try to get your foot flat if you're able to. But if you're not, you can always do this. Or, yeah. But if you can, get your foot on the ground with your knee up, that would be optimal. And then lengthen and lift that bottom leg and hold it and just move your foot. So flex and point the foot as you kind of press into that leg a little bit to feel a little hip stretch, right? And breathe, and circle the ankle, holding that leg up. So your bottom leg is not gonna fall, it's gonna stay up as you move your foot. Yeah. And then go ahead and relax. Oh, keep this leg crossed over. Maybe scooch it down if it's too high. <laughs> and then bend the bottom leg so you can come onto your back in the figure four position. So here, to start with, press the hips up. Right? Just, just relax your leg, your hip. Pressing up, holding, breathing. Good. And lower back down. Let your arms slide out to shoulder height and let your foot come, the sole of your foot come all the way down to the ground with your knee pointing up. Oh, nice stretch for the side, those external rotators and all that business back there. <laughs> and then lift up, go the other direction. So your knee's going toward the ground here. Relax. So relaxation is a really big part of Pilates, in case you didn't know, right? You have to remember that. <laughs> and then we're going to reach through, grab hold. Relaxation is one of the principles of Pilates. You want to relax when you're not working, or you want to relax when you're not using it, right? It's really important to do that because we stay in such a state, uh, and you could straighten and bend the leg. Um, in this modern world, we often stay in a state of constant tense, tenseness, you know, or stress. And we're not breathing deep, and we're not relaxing, and it's kind of amazing that we're even still alive. Okay, so there we go. Now for the last thing, bring that foot down, uncross, and then for the little more for the back of the body, right? Go ahead and press your hips up. I said we're going to do this whole area. <laughs> okay, so up in our bridge, just take your, um, do, uh, stay on your dominant leg, whatever that is, okay? Non-dominant leg is going to lift because we want to start with that. And then your knee can be bent or your leg can be straight. It's a little more challenging with the straight leg, I think. But you're going to, all you're going to do here is just Lower the hips down till you almost touch the mat, and then press the hips up. Again, straight or bent. So lower the hips down, and exhale, press the hips up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, really press and reach. Again, you can reach through your knee. You can reach through your toes. One more time. Reach, hold. Bend the knee, foot on the mat, and articulate your spine all the way down for the other side. Okay, press the hips up, take that leg up. So again, knee is bent or the leg is straight. Lower down till you're almost touching. Exhale, reach through that leg. Inhale, lower. Exhale, reach and press up. Good. Inhale, lower. Exhale, reach and press. Good. 50 more. <laughs> We're breathing. We're reaching. Good. I should count, but anyway, 
Um, it's hard to count. It's hard to do all of this at the same time. All right. So then we bend. We put our foot on the mat. Press your sacrum up and articulate your spine all the way down. And then just hold your knees and hug them close to you, maybe round your back. Just a stretch. Yeah. Good. And then for the last thing, put your feet together in the butterfly position. So if you can put the soles of your feet together with your knees open, open the hips. Yeah. And just let your body relax here. And then bring your feet onto the mat. Oh, so go ahead and come up. And that will do it for our lower body leg side um, medicine. <laughs> so probably be seeing you next in um, some roller videos. Thanks for joining me.